Hello, how's it going? Today on Art Pro, we're going to see how to animate images using LeiaPix's artificial intelligence, which is capable of identifying different elements and creating a depth map to achieve various parallax effects. You'll see that it's really easy to handle and we can achieve this effect without needing any video editing knowledge. Well, upon entering LeiaPix, it shows us this home screen. I'll leave the link below in the description of this video. We just need to sign up. And for that, you only need an email, create a password, and it's completely free. To load the image, we just need to click on the Upload button. We select the one that interests us the most, for example, this same one. And by default, it adds a slight movement to it. Let's quickly go through each of the properties, but before that, if you're new here and you're interested in art and new technologies applied to imagery, I recommend subscribing so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, the first option we have is the animation length. We can set a duration from one to six seconds. That is, if we choose six seconds, the animation will run very slowly, and if we choose just one second, the camera movement will appear faster. I think three seconds should work well. Next, we have various animation styles. The first one we have is a horizontal camera movement, which would simply go from left to right. Then we have the wide circular movement, but we'll appreciate it better at a higher speed. Next is the regular circular movement, vertical circular. Vertical from top to bottom. And the latest addition is the perspective movement. Despite being a subtle movement, it gives us this little control. Then here, in this option, we can determine the amount of movement. By default, it's set to regular, and if we select more, we can see that the movement becomes much more intense. It might seem a bit strong, but if we slightly reduce the speed, we can see how the movement becomes smoother while still retaining a lot of depth. Next, we would have the focal point. Whether we want it to be close or far, broader or narrower. Then we have edge dilation, which is something really subtle. And then, here we have advanced editing controls to adjust, for example, the amplitude of each axis. You can tinker around if you want, but for this effect I believe the default options are more than sufficient. However, there's something else interesting that we need to look at, and that's the depth map. We have it right below the editing options, and here it generates a grayscale image overlaid on ours. If we deactivate the preview option, we can see the map as is. This is how it interprets depth. Darker areas are farther away, and lighter areas are closer. The artificial intelligence has created this map based on its interpretation of the elements in the image, but we could edit it to our liking. Here we can configure brush properties to then draw the volumes of our image. In this way, we've made this entire area, not just the silhouette of the figure, closer. And then when animating, we can see that everything we've marked becomes like a foreground block. In this case, the selection doesn't make much sense, but if the idea wasn't very precise or if we wanted to define something particular, we have the option to do so using this depth map tool. Let's then conduct further tests with more complex images. For example, this photographic appearance, also generated with artificial intelligence, has a lot of elements with different planes, and we can see that it interprets and animates them correctly. Once again, we can adjust these values to our liking. And if we go to the depth map, we can see how it has intelligently segmented each of the elements. If we were to manually select each of them to create the same parallax example in After Effects, it could take us a lot of time. Here, Leia Pix's artificial intelligence identifies what is closer in lighter tones, and as it moves away, it fills the background elements with progressively darker shades of gray. And this can be done with any of the images, whether they're generated with artificial intelligence or our own drawings and photographs. This way we can create these eye-catching animations to prevent images from looking too static without heavily distorting them. To add this subtle movement and avoid making it look like a static image. It's not a program for creating complex videos. It's meant for these parallax animations. To turn images into animated videos, we can use applications like Kyber, Genmo, or Stable Diffusion with Deforum. 
which create a kind of blend between morphing and stop motion. If we want to create immersive videos from still images, we can use the zoom out feature of Midjourney. And if we aim to create fluid and complex animations with artificial intelligence, the field is still in its early stages. But Gen 2 shows quite interesting results. The truth is that within the limited scope of the parallax function, LeiaPix offers considerable control and performs quite well. If you liked the video and found it useful, you can leave a like or a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.